kind of a big deal. First impression time, your boy Blind Bot, another fragrance that's been requested for me to review for a significant amount of time, but I was always just shopping it and make sure I got it for the best price possible. So I finally got it and it's a fragrance by the House of Mancera. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto my first impression of this fragrance and hope is as dope as everybody's been saying. <laughs> Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C3 A. The fragrance that I blind bought was Red Tobacco by Mansara. Now, I smelled a decent amount of Mansara fragrances, but I've never smelled Red Tobacco. Again, this is gonna be my first time getting this shit. Full bottle, haven't even opened it yet. So, the only thing I did was take off the cellophane wrapper. But I'm excited. I've always liked these little fucking Mansara bitch bags. They're funky. I end up throwing them away though. Oh, but this one's different. Oh, it's like a, it's a plastic cap on this one. I'm used to the metal joints. This is a plastic one. This bottle actually looks really dope. I actually love the aesthetic look of this bottle. Hmm, pretty lit. All right, first impression time. Let's get to it. All right, let's see. There's the nozzle over here. I don't want to fucking spray this shit. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. This is the first time I'm smelling this fragrance. This does smell like Virtus by Navitus, Steven shit. And I have a bottle of Virtus, so I'll do a comparison towards the end. Very, very fucking nice though. Very sweet, but also menthol. Like there's something slightly medicinal about it. It is very nice though. Very, very nice. Definitely enjoy this shit. See what confuses people, and I'm gonna kind of sympathize with it, is that people automatically assume that as a fragrance content creator, reviewer, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, I've smelled absolutely everything. And not only have I smelled absolutely everything, but I own everything. And everything that I wear, I circulate every single day. That's not the case. I could have had a fragrance for 10 years and I haven't worn it for six months and I will forget the fragrance profile. How the fuck am I supposed to know that one fragrance smells like this one when I haven't smelled it? Fucking lit. I really like this fragrance. Yeah, sweet, mentholic, tobacco, feels a little resinous earthy, citrusy, vetiver vibe, and a little bit of like a, of a, of a dark patchouli. It's very, very nice. I don't know what the performance is, obviously, first impression, I just literally got it in the fucking mail, but I'm sure being Mancera is gonna perform dope. Now, what you all been waiting for, Virtus, the comparison. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> all right, Virtus, red tobacco. All right, I gotta respray this. Let me respray Virtus. Mmm, 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 mmm. Red tobacco over here, Virtus here. Okay. They do smell alike, but they're not the same. That's my opinion. I have them hand in hand. Yeah, they definitely smell similar, but they're not the same at all. I wanna get the full experience of this cloning in action. All right, so I got red tobacco on this hand, and I'm gonna do Virtus on this hand. All right, we go two sprays of each. Let's see. Red tobacco, fucking nice, boy. Very nice, all right? They do smell similar, but they are not clones. You can definitely tell the difference. I mean, how the fuck can you say that they smell exactly the same? Similarities, absolutely. Virtus for me is a lot brighter. The bergamot definitely shines a lot more. It smells a little waxy and milky. This one smells more patchouli, a little bit more mentholic. It smells a little bit more medicinal. The tobacco nuances are very, very similar. Red tobacco definitely shines more, a little bit more vetiver than this one. I don't get the identical part of it. I get the similarities, absolutely. Now smelling them side by side. Now, to be honest with you, my vibe, I'm kind of leaning towards red tobacco. It's got a little bit of a darker, sexier feel about it. Virtus feels a little bit brighter. The tobacco feels a lot fresher and airier, but this one is just a little bit dark and sultrier, which I like. I think they're both very nice, but for me, red tobacco is a little bit better. Red tobacco is more my speed. Yeah, this shit is really nice. Like I feel, I feel myself wanting to continue to smell red tobacco and Virtus kind of feels on skin right now, a little just light. There you go. 
Yes, they have similarities. I don't find them to be clones at all. Red Tobacco is definitely a little bit more my speed than Virtus. I do enjoy Virtus, but Red Tobacco, now smelling it and getting a hold of it, I will enjoy wearing this more often as long as the weather allows it. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart for sure. Red Tobacco, absolutely a ball spray. Very, very nice, sexy tobacco fragrance. That's a hell of a spray. Holy shit. Yeah, this shit is badass. This is, a, this is a fucking banger. Many other Mancera fragrances I need to get my nose on because I do enjoy the house of Mancera, so let me know. I'll see y'all motherfuckers next time. You know what it is? The biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Oh. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>